up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, folks, we have the first 2024 BB Core from Rawlings. Really good looking bat, the Mach AI. And I've heard it's ideally gonna rival the Voodoo one. We're gonna try it out. Let's get it. Oh. Oh. All right, folks, I'm very excited about this bat today. Some have called this the Voodoo One Killer. We're gonna see if that has any merit to it at all. That's just beautiful. All right, so one piece alloy. $380 up there with the Cat X, a little bit below the Voodoo One, and we have a little composite end cap. That's what you're seeing on the end. Ideally gonna balance out the swing weight and make this back closer to a Voodoo One, Cat X, Atlas, Victus, Vandal kind of swing weight category. And Rawlings previously did this with the Velo and the Velo ACP. Those bats were okay, but the Voodoo One and the Cat X definitely did a much better job of this type of bat. So we're gonna see if this can hang with the most popular bat in the game, the most hyped up bat right now, the Voodoo One from Di Marini. Very similar bats, ideally. So we're back out here at Vince Kenna Stadium. Here's our dimensions today. We had the same baseball every hit. We are gonna have exit velo, so we have a good controlled test. Dude, I, th I think with this, if this is good, Rawlings is back. They're back, for sure. If this is good, Rawlings is back. Back to their 2017. Highlight or quattro ways. All right, that was off the end of the bat, and that that hurt. Wow. All right, it, it's hot, but it, it's pretty stiff. 102, 102. Uh -oh. It's hit well. Yeah. All right. All right, so first observation, that handle is really, really, really thin. Like icon thin to the point where it was like a little bit problematic. I'll take a couple more swings. I'm gonna consider gripping over this. It's hot, dude. 101. Wow. It's, it's really hot. Now, too. Yeah. It definitely has like a lot more like sturdiness and backbone than the, the old Velo used to have. It's not quite as light. Uh, definitely reminds me a lot more of a Voodoo One or Atlas, but it, it's stiff, man. It, it's not a very forgiving bat. Backside scoreboard, baby. Aye! Oh! <laughs> Dang, that was so underwhelming that it hit the net. That was hit so hard. One three. One three. Dude, that that stings. Like, I'll say that stings more than I think I've ever had with the Atlas. I still like it. It just kind of swings like a wood bat. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Every bit of it. Huh. 105. All right. 105. That's pretty good. All right, so the Mach AI is going to get another chance. I'm going to put a grip tape over it to try to dampen the vibration a little bit and uh, just make it less thin. So we're gonna try the Voodoo one for a second. Both 3330s, uh, swing weight should be similar. Woo! Let's go. Huh. 106. Oh, yeah. wow. 106. I really got under that. Wow. Okay, the swing weight is the same if not lighter. The pop is the same if not better and the barrel feels much better. You, you have that forgiving kind of flex off of the barrel. That, you know, the Voodoo One's not even a really good sweet spot bat in my opinion, but so far it's way better than uh, the Mach. Man, so that's like so bad on the hands. I can deal with that. That doesn't hurt that bad. Oh, wow. Good contact. What else five. That's perfect barrel. It, it's definitely a little hotter and it feels a lot better. I'm gonna try two more things. All right, uh, Vulcan grip, we're just gonna put it over the top of this. All right, a little second chance for the Mach AI here. Uh, the grip is thickened up a little bit. I forgot to even, you know, forgot to test. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, that's foul. Nearly elite bunting bat. Oh, yeah. Pretty good contact. Kind of off the end. Yeah. Oh. And 
hammered. Wow. Oh, good bomb. Gonna pull out the big guns. This is a little premature, but we're bringing out the new Atlas. 3330, same thing. Oh, oh wow. Roof first swing. Roof first swing. Oh my gosh. 104. 181. Whoa! 31. Okay, one more. Dude. That was first swing. That felt perfect. It feels perfect. That barrel is way bigger. Not even, didn't even barrel that very good. 101. Oh my god. This is it, bro. This is the one. This, this combines it all, guys. Light swing weight, awesome pop, awesome sweet spot. Definitely more barrel than the Mach AI and the Voodoo one. And it's a fun day to hit, so I'm just gonna swing the Icon for one. Just because we have people say like, you gotta compare it to another Rawlings. I know it's heavier, but. Wow. Bro, it's so, having more sweet spot makes all the difference. Like the, the pop and the, and the swing weight are important, but having more barrel to work with makes all the difference, bro. I feel like the Atlas and the Icon, I was just so much more comfortable with. Okay, what was that? Four. Jeez, backside. Okay, dude, that's it. All right, folks, I'm gonna sound like a broken record. This bat is good. It's really good. It's not great. This bat is really, really, really good. This bat is great. If we look at the Bat Bro scale, I mean, all three of these bats are pretty good for swing weight. All three of them are pretty dang good for pop even, but this bat is really good for all three, including Sweet Spot. This has a decent Sweet Spot, and this thing is kind of lacking on Sweet Spot. They're all red hot. If you do exit velo testing, you're gonna do pretty good with all of them, but bang for your buck and getting a good all around bat that's not gonna ring you up, the swing weight is manageable, the pop is good, and you can miss and still have really good results, this thing is primo, guys. It's also the cheapest, it's the ugliest, but the Atlas is the truth, man. One of my potential gamers, that top four is just elite territory for us right now.